When planning our project, we need to identify the number of resources that are required. And from a people perspective, to be able to say of the 365 days in the year, actually how many are going to be productive. This video podcast looks at the calculation of the productive days in the year compared to the number of days in the year. First let us look at the theory. Now in the Association for Project Management Body of Knowledge, the sixth edition, it identifies that resource scheduling is a collection of techniques used to calculate the resources required to deliver the work and when they'll be required. And it goes on to make the point that we have to have confidence that the schedule is realistic. So if we know the number of productive days, that helps give confidence that we know we have the right number of resources. First, let us work out the number of working days. So of the 365 days in the year, we need to deduct 104 days for weekends and in England there are eight public holidays. This gives us a balance of 253 working days. So 253 working days. Now we have to take into account that our team will have holiday and depending upon your organisation this will vary. However we'll assume for today that they've got 25 days holiday. Unfortunately people do fall sick and we'll have to take into account some sickness provision. So for this example, we'll use four days. Next, we also have to take into account some other items. Now we want our team to be healthy. They'll probably go to the dentist twice a year. So that will exclude two half days. And it may be that we have to take into account other items, perhaps some compassionate leave. So let's allow an additional day for that. So this gives us a balance of 222 days that they're available. So 222 days. Now we do invest in our team and we want to sit with them and give them a performance appraisal. Every six months we sit down for half a day and look at how well the individual is performing. Also it's important to bring the team together to have team meetings and in this example we'll assume that we've got one every six months. As we work in a knowledge economy we need to train our team and so we'll put down for six days worth of training each year to help develop the skills of our individuals to make sure that they're kept up to date. To summarise the figures then, we had 222 days. We took off one day for performance appraisals, we allowed six days for the training of our team, and we had two team meetings each year, each of one day. So that leaves us a balance of 213 productive days. Well, what does this tell us? Well, of our 213 days then, on average, this means that we've got about 17.75 days per month available for work. And over the year, if we average it out, it's about 4.1 days per week, which is why you may sometimes hear that our team are only productive for four days a week. As a percentage calculation, we can see that 213 divided by 253 gives us about 84% of the time. Well, we looked at the theory. Now let's go through an example. We'll assume that for our project, we have a project office and we need five people every working day that the project office is open. So what's the calculation? Well, 253 working days times five people means that we need 1,265 days worth of cover each year. Now in our calculation, we saw there were 213 productive days. So we take our 1,265 and we divide it by 213 to give us 5.94. So really that's six people. We need six full-time equivalents to resource the project office so that for every working day we have five people. My name's John Chapman. I wish you every success with your resource scheduling. Thank you for watching this video podcast. Goodbye.